Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Portia Williams. And that's right, I've heard some stuff regarding Portia's wedding planning. And you guys will not believe what Simon has in store for her African wedding. That's right, guys. So allegedly, the streets are talking, and I've been informed that Simon is planning to have all these Afrobeat artists at their traditional Nigerian wedding. That's right. So I'm wondering if Simon is trying to negotiate also a great price with these artists, because as you guys have seen, Simon invites a lot of these Afrobeats Afrobeat artist to his lounge called Republic in Atlanta. So I'm sure he's probably trying to figure out how he can get a deal, you know, for Miss Portia, Peach Juice Williams, right? But Simon, I mean, I think Simon trying to do this, because by the way, lots of Nigerians always hire and Africans, you know, we like to hire like for our weddings and stuff. We'll have like traditional dancing and stuff. And yeah, sometimes the people who can afford it, they also bring like artists as well and we've seen simon taking pictures with davido if you guys know who he who he is he's the guy that sings about assurance by the way he's not my favorite afrobeat artist i like Wizkid and i like um another guy called burnaby oh sorry burna boy and then there's another guy that i like too i don't know what his name is but he sings a song called comfort you oh and i also like another guy too um his name i think is like romadi or something comment down below if you know any of these afrobeat artists there's a song called actually meeting in my bed and it's my favorite wale is in it as well and there's i just got introduced to his song by just listening to like whiz kids like playlists and stuff but anyway simon allegedly is reaching out to Nigerian artists, Afrobeat artists, to be involved in his wedding, all right? I don't know, can Simon afford this, guys? Because allegedly, he is not worth $40 million. This man is doing this so then he can look good when Portia does her spinoff. But I think he's trying to negotiate, probably like telling these artists, like if you're gonna be a part, you know, part of this wedding, maybe I don't have to pay you, but you can get like credits to be on the Real Housewives of, sorry, not the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but you know, Bravo TV, like, you know, they're gonna get some credits if they are part of this wedding. Because, you know, for Simon, this is not just a regular wedding. This is a business deal, guys. Simon is getting a tax write-off. So when he also, like, let's say if he pays some of these artists, he's also gonna get a tax write-off on, on it as well. The man does not want to pay for anything, all right? This is what happens, ladies, when you think you've secured the bag and you are with a man who is a dusty right and it's very clear that Simon is a dusty look at him even competing with his third wife's ex baby daddy Sean uh, Barber check out my previous video that I just did today where I talked to you guys about how Simon is still competing with his ex-wife's ex which is really sad and if I was Portia I would be concerned right now like how do you ladies feel about your fiance or your husband or your boyfriend still competing with an ex of his ex? Isn't that weird? I know, very bizarre, right? But leave it up to Simon, right? He's always up for a competition. But anyways, ladies, I like it when men compete about how much resources they have and how much money they have. I think that's better than men hurting themselves or harming themselves. So I think that that's okay if Simon wants to show off how much cars he has because he's been showing his garage full of cars and everything. And you know, the other guy, he's actually a millionaire, but Simon, we still don't know what we what you do. We know that you have an office space and you have a printer and a desk and that's it. And you have no employees. Oh, by the way, speaking of employees, Fallon Pina's ex baby daddy, the third baby daddy, Sharon Barber is actually looking for assistant right now. Yeah, someone to hire, someone to work for him. And we know that Simon has no employees as of right now. So, you know, it is 
what it is, ladies. Do the math because I know that sometimes we have Simon Gabadia fans coming through our tribe over here and trying to tell us that he's like a wealthy black man and stuff like this. But according to all his ex-wives and people who have talked to me who are very credible, Simon is not everything that he portrays to be. But anyways, ladies, what do you think about Portia's also like her traditional African wedding? Do you really think that Simon is going to compensate these Afrobeat artists properly? Or he's going to negotiate something with them so he can also try to get a discount? The same way he got a discount on those African fabrics that we've had Nigerian women in our tribe come forward and let us know that those fabrics are not expensive whatsoever. And that's why I asked in that video, Simon, where is the silk? Where is the pearls? Where is the, you know, the head wrap that these Nigerian women wear? It's called the gele. Where is that? Also, there are some Nigerian women that have some like beading and stuff that comes from the sea. All right. And this is the type of stuff that they wear for their traditional wedding. So I'm just wondering, like, why is Simon thinking that he can give Portia, you know, a low value wedding? It does not make sense. Right. But anyway, we're praying for Portia. Portia, you are in trouble. You went for the wrong man. Portia should have went for Fallon Pina's ex-baby daddy, right? The millionaire, the designer, the guy that is uh, Sharon. By the way, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but Sharon Barber. She should have went for him, but I know that Portia's probably in his DMs right now being like, oh, can we work together? Can we collaborate? Oh, that would bring down Simon's self-esteem. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I really appreciate all of you who are on Instagram, who write me and send me stories and stuff. I really appreciate this um, so much because you guys know that Simon has me blocked on Instagram, but Simon's still watching my videos. Simon, we know you're watching this video. Please compensate the Afrobeat artists that are going to be performing allegedly at your African traditional wedding. So make sure you know you compensate these guys properly and don't just give them like you know credits at the end of the show. All right. Anyway if you guys would like to support me be sure to check out the video description and get your copy of my ebook as well. I look forward to hearing your reviews as well. You guys are so amazing. I love getting emails from you guys and your voice messages as well. I love you guys. And this tribe continues to grow because of all of you. Anyway, until our next conversation, take care of yourselves and have a fantastic week. Cheers.